action is going to help teach your body how to absorb and take impact, which is then going to help you spring out and jump or run faster. Just like a rubber ball, the faster and harder I can sink into the floor, the harder and faster I can pop out, being explosive, jumping high, running fast. Now, the first thing that's going to be very important for you to know here is what a jump ready hold is and looks like. It's going to be a position where it looks like I'm about to jump. So I'm squatting down, my chest is up, my hands are high up to the ceiling. This is the position that you're going to get to from the box. Now with the box, you're going to want to take into account the box height. I would say 16 to 20 inches is good to start and you can progress higher as you go. Now from here, I'm going to step off and then I'm going to land in my jump ready hold. Notice how I did not land wobbly and I didn't stop slow. So I wasn't stopping slow and wobbling around. As soon as I dropped off, I got to my position. Now the higher you take this, the harder it's going to get, but you want to take into account if your body's having any pain here and if you're able to stop hard to dime and then hold that for a few seconds before going to the next rep.